Hi, my name is Raylan Hicks and I'm with the Strasburg Fire Protection District. And our purpose for coming on video today is to explain to you about this I.O. bridge that we just bought to make our antiquated siren system work. So a little bit of history, our fire department was um, started in 1926. And as you can see, we've grown to be a more modern fire department. However, we're still a volunteer fire department. And the purpose for our siren was in the beginning was that when ever there was an ambulance call that came. Um, the siren would alert the fact that we had an ambulance call or a fire that was working and that would al alert our, our community and our firefighters to come to the firehouse and to pick up the equipment and to go and to aid in whatever emergency was happening. Now we're a very small rural um, community on the eastern plains of um, Colorado. The siren is important to our community because in the event of a tornado or other cataclysmic activity that happens to our community, then our siren is set off so that people understand that they need to seek cover immediately in, um, to shelter themselves from whatever the emergency is that's coming across. And being that that's important to the community, we needed to upgrade the way our siren works. Um, previously, the way our siren worked is that someone would have to come down to the firehouse and they would have to set the siren off with a button here at the firehouse in order to allow for this alert system to work. And in the event of um, a tornado coming through our town or something that we needed to set that siren off to alert our community to take cover, we would have to send someone in harm's way down to the firehouse to be able to set that siren off from here. Well, what we understand by purchasing this I.O. bridge, that what's going to happen now is we're going to be able to hook our I.O. bridge, with the I.O. bridge we're going to be able to hook our siren up to the internet. And then from there we'll be able to purchase an app. And since most of our firefighters and most of our community members, they all carry cell phones at this time, it makes perfect sense that this way we would be able to purchase an app, put it on any one of our firefighters cell phones and they can remotely set the siren off from the cover of their own basement or wherever they're at to weather out the um, emergency that's coming through town. And then the other thing that our community has been very used to is for years and years and years our siren has gone off at noon just as a test. Every day the siren went off at noon. Well, since we've been having some problems with the siren and with the buttons and with everything working, we haven't been able to set our siren off at noon for over a year and a half. And our community misses that. Our community has requested that we try to fix the siren so that our siren will go off um, at noon every day so that that way it just kind of gives everybody that secure feeling that, hey, it's noon and our, our siren's working and in the event of an emergency, we will be notified that there is something going on. So we have purchased the I.O. bridge because the I.O. bridge is allowing us to hook up to the internet, allowing our firefighters through the app of, on a cell phone to set our, our siren off and then also we are setting it up so that every day at noon the siren goes off to let our community know that everything is fine. So the installation of this was really simple. All we had to do was we just had to um, take the I.O. bridge, plug it into a relay that came with the I.O. bridge. We plugged the wires from the siren into the relay and plugged it into the I.O. bridge. We hooked it up to the internet through an ethernet cable and programmed a little bit into the computer and we're up and going.